So, I wanted to talk about the fact that David Duke Jr. signs his second two-way contract with the Brooklyn Nets. Now, David Duke, he was cooking in the offseason. He was a guy that we saw having a lot of fun. And don't get me wrong. He's a guy who deserves more than a two-way. But let me explain why it took so long. So David Duke Jr., who the Nets brought on after going undrafted last season in 2021, will likely sign his second two-way contract with Brooklyn per league sources, according to Chris Milholan at Nets Daily. Duke had been a restricted free agent after playing on a two-way this past season for the Nets. Nets Daily was the first with this news. The Nets have wanted Duke to accept the second year deal as a two-way player, but he wanted a standard deal, which the standard deal would have paid him 1.5. However, ultimately he agreed to stay with the Nets. He would be paid $502,000 as a two-way, which is about a million dollars less than he would have signed if he got that standard deal. Now, David Duke is somebody I thought was phenomenal this past offseason, especially in the summer league. He was cooking, okay? And during you know it was a standout during you know the summer league 19 points four four six rebounds and four assists per game david duke was a dog and yeah in 22 contests for the nets he averaged 4.7 points three rebounds and 1.8 assists i really have always liked david duke and david duke is somebody who's david duke jr sorry because david duke is a grand wizard the other one do, do we say David Duke Jr. or we just do David Duke? For people who don't know, there's a lot of jokes made about David Duke because on like NBA Twitter because he has the same name as... I'm not going to say the organization, but search up what David Duke Grand Wizard and you'll, you'll get that. Fuck that. You know, fuck that. And it's like not even like... It's not really jokes. People just be like, oh, that's kind of tough that he grew up with that name. And, you know, obviously probably was kind of tough. Either way, I wanted to talk David Duke's best month of his NBA career was it's really hard to say because December. OK, he, uh, he was playing 27.2 minutes a night, averaging 8.6 points a night, 1.2 steals a block a night, one and a half assists, seven and a half boards. Okay, through five games on 27 minutes a night. Yes, he shot 14% from three, 36% from the field goal, but that was his first month of basketball. He followed that up month with nine games of 12 minutes a night, shooting 39% from the field and 45.5% and grabbing about you know 2.3. Really, the most minutes he got a night was in December, but as a starter in seven games, his stats were 7.7 .7 points, 6.3 rebounds, about a steal and a block a night, and the shooting numbers weren't great. And we're hoping that David Duke is the guy that we saw in the summer league. But my my assumption with David Duke, the man from Providence, is they probably looked at David Duke and they thought this. What? Oh, shit. We got ourselves Bruce Brown replacement. And what I mean by that is this is a guy that, in my opinion, I think David Duke was going to be able to replace Bruce Brown. So in David Duke's last year at Providence, he averaged 16.8 points, 6.3 rebounds, five assists, a steal and a half a night, and half a block while shooting 39% from three on five attempts and 38%, almost 39% from the field on 14 attempts a night. And for me, I think Bruce Brown, they let him walk because I think they felt confident that David Duke Jr. was going to be able to replace the production that you know Bruce Brown averaged and I I don't think that's was a bad a bad thought process because I agree I think Bruce Brown 64 literally Bruce Brown and David Duke have similar bodies and I think that's why Bruce Brown walked and the crazy thing is is Bruce Brown literally Bruce Brown's stats in his last year of college were 11.4 points, four assists, seven rebounds, steal and a half, about a block, shooting, you know, 26.7% from three, 41.5% from the field. If you look at their stats, David Duke and Bruce Brown have similar stats in college. And personally, if I have to be honest, David Duke has the better stats in college. So I think they legitimately looked at David Duke and you're like, you're the replacement for Bruce Brown. Like, no joke. And that's where I look at this. And I'm like, 
And this is why it's working out. I want to hear your thoughts down below. If you